بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد. What happened in Boston, the Boston bombings, and recently in the UK, uh, were terrible tragedies that we as a human community face not just as Muslims or non-Muslims but it affects us all in various ways and it's a tragedy that we all have to deal with and may Allah help us I wanted to point out first and foremost that Islam is free from this evil in any and all forms of terror regardless of what the extremists say regardless of what the media says regardless of what intelligent or so-called intelligent sources say but Islam is free from that and Islam is also or we as Muslims are also displeased with so-called intelligence sources that try to set up our youth and this is unfortunately something we face persistently in America being harassed by intelligence sources whether it be police or whether it be uh, other agencies and Unfortunately, they prey on the ignorant and the ignorant from amongst our community. But however, that doesn't mean that these individuals, due to their ignorance, are not blameworthy. And as a community, we have to begin to take responsibility. How do we take responsibility? No more entertainment. Dawa. No more propagating the religion just as fun or no more trying to bury our hands, our heads in the sand as if these extremist elements don't exist. But rather we have to confront, deal with and attack these ideologies. Go toe to toe with them. How do we go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them? How do we deal with these ideologies of ignorance and extremism? By knowledge, by ilm. There's a beautiful narration of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He said, Man bihi khayran din. Whenever Allah wants good for a person, He gives him understanding of the religion. Those people who commit these extremist acts, it would seem that Allah doesn't want good for them. That they're an abandoned people. Why? Because they are left on ignorance and they propagate ignorance and extremism and call to bloodshed. Acting based upon their own ignorant, foolish ideologies. These individuals bring shame to the community, but they are not a reflection of the community. But as a community, it is necessary to begin to educate our youth. That in every Muslim community, especially in the West, especially in America, UK, Canada, and these places, we have to begin to sit our youth down and teach them. Teach them what are the fundamental principles and values and morals that are intrinsic to Islam. What does the Quran say? What is the authentic sunnah, prophetic traditions of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? What does he say about these things? He's, one of the things the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, He said, beware of extremism. And look at where extremism gets us. Every time some idiot performs one of these extremist acts and tries to say that it's in the name of the religion, it reflects upon us as a community. 
then we feel the backlash with people coming in the mos mo mosques with knives, people threatening uh, Muslim women, people threatening Muslims everywhere, and believing that we have any relationship with this. But I'd like to declare as a Muslim and as a person who is striving to better educate himself in the religion and who has contact with Islamic scholars around the world, that we are free from this evil. We are free from these evil acts. Now let's go to the Quranic text so that we get a better understanding. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, وَلَا تَقْتُلُوا نَفْسَ أَلَّتِي حَرَمَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and do not kill a soul that Allah has made sacred. Allah gives us a stern warning and orders us that killing is wrong, that terror is wrong, that spreading, sp uh, spreading wickedness in the land is wrong. By destroying people's property, it's wrong. And there are so many Quranic texts that verify this for us and substantiate and, and, and affirm for us that Islam has a very stern stance against terror and against mindless bloodshed. And in an authentic tradition of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam spoke about those people that are protected in the Muslim lands, meaning whenever you have a non-Muslim in a Muslim uh, land that has come into the country lawfully under the protection of the Muslim authority, that they should not be harassed. They should not be harmed. They should not be terrorized. And of course, above and beyond that, of course they should not be harmed physically, killed, or terrorized. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu said, من قاتل, uh, من قاتل مؤهد لم يرح رائها رحيات الجنة that the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu said the person who kills or the person uh, the person who kills a pers person who's protected in the Muslim land by the Muslim authority that this person will not even smell the fragrance of paradise so what about these people who commit crimes and try to justify it in the name of Islam and that they cause harm and then they try to attribute this evil to Islam. I just wanted to make this statement and let it be known that Islam is free from this. And the Muslim communities in America and the United Kingdom and Canada and all over Europe and in fact, around the world, we're free from this. We're displeased with this. We despise this. And we despise these acts. And I want to exhort our communities to be vigilant by beginning to educate our youth. Beginning to come back to the Quran and the authentic text of the Prophet Muhammad Wasallam, and invite people to the pristine and beautiful religion of Islam which encourages peaceful, uh, a peaceful existence and coexistence in this world, which encourages us to worship our Lord alone and to be careful about what we speak about and how we affect others and refutes terror in all of its various forms. And we ask 
that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guides us all to the truth and protects us and our families from harm. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to be a source of guidance and a clarification that Islam is free from those evil acts. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.